Hello and welcome. My name is Phil Edmonds and I am the play-by-play -play voice of the Burlington Cougars. Tonight I am joined by Cougars forward Isaac Fascio, forward Keegan DeCaliway, and defenseman Sterling Walters. Thanks for joining. Thanks, yeah, Phil. Thanks. Uh, Keegan, we'll start with you. New players to the Burlington Cougars this season. We're 12 games in. I think you've played about 10 of those 12. Uh, just talk about your your role on the team and what we can have, expect from you on the ice this year. Yeah, I, I think moving forward and try to be a uh, – I'm a smaller body, so I got to act big and be fast, get in on the four check every time, play hits, um, just try to make clean passes, clean shots every time. And Sterling, over the last couple of years, you had the opportunity in Junior B – Talk about your experiences there with your stops and uh, what you bring to the Cougars this year on the back end. Yeah, so um, in my grade 12 year, I played uh, in St. Thomas. Um, I, this is my first year of junior, so it was a pretty big uh, step for me. Um, I thought I played well. Um, overall, our season didn't go as planned, and um, obviously it got shut down with COVID at the end. So I never really got to see what that season could have been. Um, well, the next year, I was acquired by St. Mary's uh, in the league. Um, we only played a handful of games because of COVID. We were lucky enough to play against Strathroy. Um, the work I'd put in the summer and over through COVID, you know, carried through and I was playing well. But unfortunately, we shut down again due to COVID. So that was kind of the, the end of my junior B experience. Well, my year got cut short as well as everyone else's did. Um, and then what I bring to Burlington, I bring a lot of speed on the back end, play like offensive defenseman. But uh, when the time is right, I know when to, you know, step in front of a puck and how to win a game. So that's pretty All much right. for me. <laughs> Isaac, believe it or not, we talked in the first week of the season, you were on our Zoom call. Believe it or not, October's gone. We're into November. Recap October for us, the Cougars in 12 games, 8-2, 1-1. One, what are your thoughts on October? Yeah, it just seems like the time's been flying by. I mean, last year wasn't wasn't so fun, but this year we're playing games. We're, we're in the locker room, and time's just going by too quickly. Uh, I mean, we have a really good start to the season, I think. We've only lost two games, one in regulation. The rest, the other was in overtime. So we're I think we're playing really well as a team, and as we go, we're getting better and better every time we step on the ice. So... And we're becoming more of a team as we as we go. So hopefully the month of November is treating us just as good as October and we can keep winning games. Sterling, on Sunday, the Cougars fell short to the Milton Menace, but you were able to capture your first OJ goal there in the dying seconds. Uh, kind of recap that moment for, for you. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it was a little later than I would have liked, you know, uh, being – a handful of games in I expect a little more of myself but I was happy to finally get one on the board um you know it was just uh I think it was from fast actually the puck kind of popped out in the slot for me and just took a routine shot I would guess low and finally found uh found some net on a low glove so it felt good Keegan, you were able to get your first OJ goal in October back on the 15th at home against Markham Talk about that moment. I believe it was from Zeb and Metzen, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was kind of like routine. It was a. I think it was a three on two coming down, and Zeb just uh, did a uh, far far pad shot. I got the tap in goal on the far end. It was. Uh, it was nice to have one of the belt, and I just got to get a few more. Isaac, the Cougars, a little bit of a slump at the end of October there with the tide of Stouffville at Showcase and coming off a loss in Milton, as we've mentioned. What has Burlington got to do to get back to their winning ways? Uh, I think it's just important that we stick to Burlington Cougars hockey. We don't worry about who's down down the hall in the other change room. We just focus on playing our, our game because if we play solid Burlington Cougars hockey, there's not a team in the league we can't beat. So I think just making sure we're prepared and focused for every game is a good way that we're just going to be able to dial in and beat anybody that or have a chance of beating anybody that we play so yeah Keegan over the course of the season there's going to be a lots of highs and lots of lows in a hockey team talk about those low times and how do you keep positive 
Um, I think it's just back to basics every time, whether we're playing the best team in the league or the worst team in the league. We got to play our way, the simple way, make the first pass we see, all the simple things we got to do to win a game. And yeah. Sterling on Friday, the Pickering Panthers come into town, our second meeting with them this year. What do the Cougars got to do to get in the win column on Friday? Well, uh, you know, we watched some video of them and we see how they play. And uh, I think just all around, we're, we're a better team, you know, like we have faster players, you know, all of our systems. When we're running, we're running. So I think we just need to play to the system and play hard against these guys. And I think we'll have uh, success. Isaac, the Cougars defeated Pickering back in October 5-3 in the first week of the season. Sterling kind of touched on it there about looking at video. How do you prepare for a team when you've already seen them this season versus sometimes when you already haven't or when you haven't seen them? Well, you get a little bit of a feel for how they play. If they're going to be a really physical team or really fast, you can kind of prepare yourself for what's up ahead. Uh, like Sterling said, we can watch some video and touch upon all the little details that might help us get the edge on them. But like I said earlier, it really doesn't matter who who we're playing as long as we keep playing our hockey we have a we have a chance of winning so that's that's the most thing the most important thing <laughs> keegan we're into november so we might see some mustaches on the players in the locker room who are your odds on favorite to uh grow the best stash in the room um i'm gonna put my money on davis <laughs> davis Fasu, who do you got um i think i'm gonna go with Chauvin. yeah it's a hairy guy. Yeah. Chauvin. Sterling, who do you got? I'm going to have to go with Joel Chauvin. <laughs> I got looks like a lumberjack on a regular day. So we're, we're just. All right. So we'll keep an eye out that for as the month goes along. Sterling, looking at the standings right now, it's a bit of a tight race with the Cougars, Oakville in the mix there, and the Georgetown Raiders. Milton and Brantford not too far behind. Do you do any scoreboard watching at this point of the season or are you just kind of focus in on your own game? Uh, personally, like with the record we have, um, you know, like it's kind of safe to say, like when you only have two losses in a season that you're going to be somewhere near the top. So as of right now, it's, I don't think it's necessary for us to watch. And every night, if you know, if we just keep winning, there's no really need to look at the scoreboards and see what other guys are doing because we got to worry about ourselves at the end of the day. So Isaac, a couple events coming up, Pink in the Rink and the Toy Toss game just around the corner. Before you know it, it'll be here. Talk about the importance of those events. Oh, it's super important just having the team be involved in our community and be doing things to, I guess, better our community and help out around because we're asking for support from our community. So it's, it's only fitting that we support them ourselves and the people in our community. So it's really good and I'm really happy we're doing it because – I like to help out the community a lot. Looking forward to it. And boys, I want to thank you again for joining me here tonight and good luck this weekend. All right. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Thank you.